Hi, we're here today with Mandy. And with Mandy's hair, we're going to use an accessory. They're the latest trend to come out of America and hit the UK. That's called feather locks. We are going to use the red range here, okay, which will work very well with Mandy's hair colour, but also giving it some vibrancy and some texture. You can see we've got two different feathers here. We've got the plain colour, which is the, called the solids, and then we've got the stripy effect known as the grizzlies. Okay, there are three tools that we need to use to help us apply our feathers. The first one is the microbeads. The microbeads are used to attach the feathers to the hair. They have a silicone inside to help protect the hair and a metal on the outside. And secondly, we have the loop tool. And this is the tool used to apply your microbead to and take your hair section through. And then the third tool is the pliers to close the microbead and to reopen the microbead for removal. First of all, we need to take a section of where we want the feathers to fall. So I'm just going to apply them in underneath Mandy's parting. Now, with the loop tool, take the bead to match the client's hair colour, and that just slides on top and onto the microbead. Now, your hair section should be no thicker than the actual feathers themselves. So we're looking at a section to suit. So now using the loop tool, we'll take our section. We now need to take our first finger and thumb and put that through the loop tool. This will allow us to take the hair, which we can then pull through. And we take the bead and slide that up towards the roots. So keeping a finger's width distance from the root, taking the bonded end of the feather, we're going to push it up through the microbead and just so it shows to the other side of the microbead. So taking our pliers and using the flat blades, we're going to put those either side of the microbead and close them down. And the removal of the feathers is just as straightforward as applying. We're using the same tool as we used before and using the first hole, we're going to pop that round, round the bead and squeeze to reshape it, sliding it down the hair and out. So I'm now going to put several in to show you the full effect of the feathers. 